say that. So conveniently on his way out of there, uh, I just kind of ran into uh, into his friend Willie here. Turns out the uh, turns out yeah he was an Uber driver. Just getting right back. Also they just mentioned that there's flying saucers flying over So that's that's good. Yeah, that's interesting. Gibbs. So yeah, he says we need to go ask Kramer. We really just should have told us the password in the first place. But whatever, I suppose he had some faith in something. Such similar excuse. I would do some shopping, but quite necessary just yet. Just to help, to help take up a little bit. I actually did a little bit of research on uh, on this and uh, yeah it's I believe it's two HP per frame. Yeah, he says to go right back to that alien and ask him. Also, for the record, I was mashing on the button and I think I am doing it. So it isn't a very long trip back. I mean, he's basically sitting right on the beach, right? Strangely enough, he doesn't actually tell you anything if you go and ask him. Actually, I don't know if he's there. Let me check. It's either he's not there or he doesn't tell you anything and apparently Mace doesn't put two and two together that maybe the guy that gave him the rock would tell him how to use the rock. But no. Thinking isn't his strong suit. Bashing things in with an axe, that is. And also, the aliens might actually have some shotguns. Really human designed weaponry that's just kind of hanging out on an alien planet that looks like a bean. Fine, it makes sense, then ask him the questions. I guess they assume you, you know, you may have seen this. You may have gone to that cave. So, this is the second and only other village in the game. Some nice little funky music going on there. They live in little huts in their little walled off fortress. So, here's Kramer's house. Oh yeah, I forgot, you need to buy a translator too. But he won't tell us the password right now because we have to go get a translator. From whoever SRAM is. Sure. Also, move 
frame rate is kind of funky for whatever reason. found the bastard, and here's why I couldn't find him. Yeah. So he's apparently just walking around. So, got the translator. Yeah. Uh, questionable design decision there. So I guess how they figure is, since this house is empty, you're just supposed to figure that this guy's walking around. Although none of the times that I walked around here, and I've walked around like six times, did he ever pop his little head out. Okay, so here's the new good stuff. The next weapon upgrade that we're probably going to go for is the shoddy. It's a good ways off at the moment, but that's probably going to be the next one. Um, from what I've seen, the best way to go about it, since you can generally grind pretty well up in the uh, castle. I uh, generally go for, uh, for shoddy, rocket launcher, and then, well, you get the ultimate weapon at that, you get the vaporizer. This is where you start getting your weird items. So, alright, here's your best healing item. It's 500 bucks. Your best attack, 300 bucks. So, a paralyzer will, uh, will basically just uh, it'll stun him for a few turns. I think it's one or two turns. Uh, death pen is just a defense lowering item. And then a power sucker transfers their attack to you. HIV gives them AIDS, I kid you not, they give them flippin' AIDS, and I, if you, I believe if you use it on yourself, you just get an instant game over, and if you use it on them, nothing really happens, you just kinda sit there for a while, and it says they got AIDS, so whatever, and then I believe a nuke, no matter what, if you use it, it's a uh, game over. Don't ever use this. <laughs> so, when that guy at the beginning says he has knives to nukes, he's not the one that has the nukes. Um, I don't know why you'd spend 10 grand on an item you can't use. Maybe there's an alternate ending I'm not aware of, but I never grinded up 10 grand to be able to buy that thing. Yeah, just 
give him back the rock so he can tell you the words. Somehow he memorizes that unintelligible garble. Now I'm gonna need those med kits for a very specific reason. Basically, there I have to get to one particular chest that's in there. So that'll do for now. I'll probably use one med kit as soon as I get out of the ocean. A little cheap one. Uh, probably use the large one whenever necessary. Hopefully, I can save the media 2000s for a long time. They aren't going to be necessary for a long time. Not it. That's weird. I swear. Um, okay, I didn't mean to buy that grenade. I could have sworn I had enough. Alright, that call on my part. Well, I guess it's not weaker, but it's comparable. I mean, it does a flat 85. This thing does up to 80. the wrong way, so it's left or right. This is, however, hopefully going to be the last thing I need for that It's from here. Either one or two teleport rounds, or they just bring me to a really far away place. And, uh. Yeah, there really is not a whole lot of backtracking. The rest, it's just that most of the rest of the game is in one area. It's a little bit slower, but if you just tap around, you know, kind of just go away. And kind of move around a little bit faster. It still doesn't register the pressing very well. right off the bat, I don't have a flippin' idea how to actually get to this thing. I know it's a rough location, but I have no idea how to actually get there. 
I will say, this is not a plot item in the least. But it will be something very necessary for the rest of the game. So, either way, that is the end of chapter 2. So, we'll go back to 3.